Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Shogun 2 here today on the channel. We have episode 2 of my Takeda Let's Play here today. We're going to be continuing our war with the Iko Iki and continuing on our main series objective to become the Shogunate of Japan. We also want to try and hit those domination victory conditions. So if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. First things up, got to say a huge thank you to this month's YouTube channel members. Massive thank you to Itchy, Green Nero One, Divine Overhand, and Hector A, and Dimitri H. Really appreciate those guys. Channel memberships are available on the channel. You get your name read out at the start of end of every stream, and you also get access to the mod list. Alrighty, so let's have a look at uh, what's going on in Japan. So most of the northeast is occupied by the Usagi, our allies. Uh, down in the southeast, we've got an alliance with the Hojo. The Imogawa have been slightly pushed here, which is interesting. Um, we still have amicable relations with them, but you never know. We might need to betray them. Uh, we're currently at war with Iko Iki, like I said. And in the last episode, we had a massive victory here. We've defeated two full stacks with just our one. We are a little bit depleted, but hopefully we've got enough to take these two territories to the south. And we might be able to go for the rest as well. Let's just hope they don't spawn any units in this fog of war, which uh, potentially can happen. All right, my ninja's down here in the south. We've got another one in the north. Armies wise with our daimyo, Takeda Shingen, who is a fantastic daimyo. Ooh, plus 10 accuracy for all bow. Ooh, what's his honor at though? Oh, we could nearly get that a lot higher though. I'm kind of tempted to do it. We nearly got max honor. All right, we're going to go with Stand and Fight. We want to try and max that out uh, as quick as possible. Any other upgrades? No. Unfortunately, we did lose his brother in the last episode, but he still has a spare, which is good. He also has another son as well, a daughter, and a male heir on the way. Okay, so... Got a little bit of cash to spend. We are getting more military forces here where we can. And it's probably not a bad idea to do so. We've got some Yari cavalry eventually coming on the way as well. We are sort of trip-feeding military forces. Uh, in the last episode, we managed to take north and south Shanano, Haida, and Mino. And now we're continuing with this war against the Ikoiki. Objectives-wise, we currently have four out of the listed provinces. And we need 60, of course, in the end. Diplomacy-wise, we currently have an alliance with the Usagi, Imogawa, and Hojo. And we're only at war with the Ikuiki. We've got a bunch of trade partners now as well. All right, so without further ado, let's end the turn and continue. Because we're just licking our wounds from that... Oh, shit. Oh, we ambushed them. I was going to say, against the, uh, the Ikuiki. They might send an army up to attack. Luckily, it's just a small force. And nothing to be concerned about. Fantastic. We actually border Kyoto now as well. So we could make plans and preparations to actually Yari take cavalry. the capital for ourselves. Seven. We've also got access to Yari cavalry now as well. Nice. Okay, well, ninjas, just keep an eye on what's going on up in and around here. Alright, so they are trying to get some sort of military presence back. Okay, so I think we go south before we go north. So let's try and hightail it to Iga, or Iga. We'll try and continue to get more recruits here where we can. Let's get an irrigation. Oh, we kind of need military forces, just because we're so depleted at the moment. Uh, we could maybe move these bow units here to Omi. We are currently exempting the tax, but we want to try and avoid that at some point. Alright, like I said, we're also just trying to drip feed military forces up and over where we can. Oh, I need to move you back here because then we can get the tax back on here. And we've also got our first unit of Yari Cavalry. Can't wait to use them. They have some phenomenal charge bonuses. Okay. So at the moment, we currently have Kai as our cavalry base of recruitment. And I eventually want to make South Shinano my Katana Samurai and Bow Samurai department. We haven't encountered any other clans, have we? 
No. And we've still got pretty good relations with everyone else. The Hojo's 99. The Osigi's 107. The Imogawa... Oh, it's actually back up to 55, thankfully. Because there was nearly a... Point in time when they, well... Weren't overly too happy with me. Maybe I should try and sabotage the fort, perhaps. Try and level up my ninja. We've got a little bit of cash, so why not? And I suppose I should get you, once you go to Kaga, to have a look. Alright, let's burn through a couple turns. I don't know when the battle is going to happen, our next battle. Because we're basically, we've benefited from the last two clutch battles at the end of that last episode, so... We'll see how we go. We're basically just going to try and mop up some of these settlements. We're going to march on in. And we'll sabotage the castle here as well, I suppose. Another successful chance. Nice. Okay. Let's try and get rid of this monk. Perfect. Dude, my ninjas are on a fucking roll. Maybe I should get another. They seem to be incredibly effective. Okay, let's uh, move one bow unit here. So, no, I still can't exempt the tax, but if I move you in, I, I believe I will be able to. Nice. Alright, got a nice little force here in Mino. We want to eventually move on out. We'll repair the fort here. We'll keep the sake den. Oh, we've got the mountain hideout here. Ah, that's interesting. So maybe we should get ninjas here from now on. Yes, because this is the former Hattori clan settlement, isn't it? I completely forgot. Alright, let's continue to get more Yari Cav. The more the better. I do kind of want to get some samurai though. Because we've got, well, none. Right, let's continue. On. So, once we take this last Ikuiki territory to the south. Oh, they're calculating here. We should be able to focus on the north. My lord, the son of one of your most loyal subjects is a fine warrior. Should we enlist him? I believe we should. Because we are a little bit lacking in the general department. Yamadira, Hirosada, we could adopt him in, which I'm kind of tempted to do. And we'll give him the Commissioner of Warfare. We might even be able to marry him off, potentially. No marriage alliances with the Hojo, nor the Imogawa, or the Yosegi. There must be someone that we can get a military, uh, a marriage alliance with. Okay, these guys. The Kita, but I think I want to maybe go to war with them, unfortunately. They seem to be, oh, they're actually trading a little bit back and forth. They are currently in a war with the, uh, Imogawa, and I don't want to complicate things too much. Alright, let's move these... Ninjas south. And we'll continue to level them up and just try and disrupt the Ikuiki castles. Although it costs a hundred. And it's not necessarily beneficial. It's just a good way to level up the ninjas. For example, you've been leveled up. Alright, let's go with that. We essentially want to be able to assassinate their agents and military leaders. Eventually. Seven percent campaign movement range. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever thought to embed ninjas into army builds. I do know the Metsuke is um Pretty beneficial in doing so, but I've never thought about it with a ninja. Who do you... Like, what units do you embed in with your Shogun 2 armies? Guys, let me know in the comments. Alright, so let's push down to... Yama. 
Um, we might be able to move some of these guys out if we're lucky. Yeah, we are. We can nearly move all of them. Okay, let's mobilize you north. Now, where was that general I got? Oh, he spawned all the way back here in Kai. That's rather unfortunate. It might be in our interest to actually get some roads here because it is a little bit of a windy bend and a long way from Kai to South Shinano. <laughs> I'd love to just m fucking make a huge tunnel from Kai to South Shinano like right across there. I wonder if in real life there's a, a metro system under there. Okay, let's continue this way. I think we got in the north from an Oh, we actually can get hit from there. That's interesting. I didn't think there was actually... Oh, no, it is. Oh, okay. I thought there was a little bit of territory there that, uh... Potentially... We could get attacked from. But I don't think so. Alright, we've got some Katana Samurai now, which is fantastic. We'll send this army down here to gobble up a another piece of Iku Iki territory. Oh, we also can get some Matsukes in here. Well, maybe we try and get a couple. Now that that's built. But we do want to try and break it down because we want a sake den here. Just to help out with the public order. Alright, we're still mobilizing an army there. We've got a little bit of cash to spend on some of these ninjas as well. So let's just continue to sabotage some of these settlements. Just to try and farm them up. Alright, move you away. You're not even doing anything. Uh, maybe try and... Maybe we just need to level you up a little bit more. Try and sabotage the castle? No. What about you here? Nice. We're putting an absolute fucking plague of ninjas on them. Alright, let's try and rally up here. Uh, we are exempting here, which we shouldn't be. And are we exempting here? We are, which we need to be. Alright, they're still moving out. Uh, maybe let's try and get some more samurai here. I think that would be a great idea. While everyone else is still moving too, Mino. Alright, just want to have a quick look at diplomacy again. Yeah, so... North, south, and east are quite happy. Yeah. Just, the thing is, we're going to have to eventually betray them when Realm Divide happens. Oh, we actually need this territory, unfortunately. Oh, damn. That one kind of fucking sucks. That Yusegi province. I kind of want to keep a small military presence here. But I also kind of want to move as many of these guys out of, if we can. God, it'd be easy if we could get military access with the... Um, Ashkaga Shogunate. Like, what do you say for 20 for 20? Give us a payment. They want a military alliance. No, I'm not interested in that. Because I think we're probably going to attack them soon, potentially. Because it's just here. Like, why not take Kyoto early if we can? Like, why not? Alright, let's continue on. I think we're hampering their recruitment quite a bit, to be fair. The Ikuiki. As... They're probably not able to recruit if we continually sabotage the castle. Okay, let's move this Matsuke to Omi. We want to try and get a bunch of them eventually as well. Let's get a Sake Den here. And yeah, let's just continue up on this massive agent harassment, I suppose. Maybe try and sabotage the army on the outside. And just really keep it up. Doesn't matter if you fail, they still gain valuable experience in doing so. Alright, 
All right, let's keep on moving out. No, oh, they hampered the movement there, you fucker. All right. Um, small army here. I think that's enough to go for that and take a risk. More units are now moving around. And we've already got a bunch of samurai being recruited. Roads, I think, is the next thing I want. Let's continue on. So we might have a battle here soon against the Ikuiki. As they have managed to... Get some resemblance of an army. Okay, so if I want to get better quality roads, I actually need to go for a this. Which I probably should do. We've currently got flammable arrows now. We can get better quality cavalry from here. Yeah, let's go back to the way of Chi. We've kind of neglected that a bit because we've been so military focused. Just due to the amount of wars we've got going on. Well, had in the past, I suppose. Alright, let's uh, move you here. Nice. It's great to see. We're really benefiting from the hard work we put in on the uh, in that last episode. Yeah, so even when the roads are nearly maxed out, it actually takes an annoying amount of time to navigate throughout our territory. Okay. Um, maybe we get some more Yari. Yeah, let's get a bunch of Yari cavalry going. Or right, everyone's still rallying up at Mino, which is nice. Jeez, this army is still trashed. Okay, so they've got a navy here. Yeah, let's continue to get rid of those monks if we can. Dude, this is fantastic. The uh, ninja spam is, well, really fucking working. Agents are so effective in these older Turtle Wars. In fact, they're still kind of busted even in Rome too. Alright, and a bunch of these guys have leveled up as well. I still want them to be assassins. Assassins rather than saboteurs. Ideally. Alright, so this army should be able to take this. Nice. Got to keep an eye out on this though, but we're fine. I could actually move out these units, because they've mostly got Yari Cavalry. Alright, what's in here? A market. Break that down, go with the Sake Den. But overall, we're looking good, fellas. Another. Oh, shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is terrible. I wasn't anticipating this whatsoever. So the Hojo have attacked the Imogawa. Shit. So we can enter war on side of Imogawa, or we can break the alliance with the Imogawa. Fuck, bro. I think the Hojo are stronger. Those motherfuckers, bro. Um, we've been, look for like role playing sake. You'd probably back the Imogawa because they've been our allies for so long, so much longer. However, the Hojo have a lot more territory, and they're actually in a better spot strategically. Like they could really take Kai. I think the Imogawa, we probably could pincer far out. So maybe we should 
decline and break the alliance with the defender. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. God damn it. Oh, as if they just did that. Why, bro? Did that drop my daimyo's honor massively? No. And we're really unfriendly with them. We're still trading with them. Damn, bro. Like, can I re-get an alliance? No. Bloody Hojo. Doing Hojo things. Alright, the Imogawa have a full stack here that we can... S uh, the uh, Iku Iki have a full stack here that we can see. Maybe we try and go for a... A wild target. Maybe not. Maybe try and sabotage the army. They failed. Uh, maybe try and sabotage the castle now. Nice. Continue to sabotage. Alright. Damn. Uh, that's complicated things. Oh, the Hatakiyama. They took that Date territory again. We'll try and get a trade agreement with them. Um, I would like some money if you can. Nice. It's because we've got so we've got a lot of valuable resources. We're producing war horses, stone and wood. We're importing iron and crafts. So we just naturally have a fair bit of stuff. All right. Let's try and move some of these units out if we can. Dude, it's a little bit treacherous, this mountain territory, surprisingly. Uh, they're not too happy here, for whatever reason. Okay, let's uh, rally up with you fellas, and we'll push to the border here, I suppose. Let's build a sake den here. And we'll look to move this army out as well. We'll try and exempt... Uh, we will have to exempt from tax. Nice. We've got a proper full stack now. A lot of Yari Cav, a lot of Light Cav. <laughs> Not, like, fuck all infantry. Alright. Definitely, we'll need to get some... Katana Samurai eventually. Uh, we're still getting more Yari Cav, which is pretty good. Anything back over here we can recruit? We can upgrade the quarry. Look, you know what? Maybe we just need to get a couple of Yari Ashigaru. Or should we... S no, we should actually just... You know what? Let's just get a bunch of Katana. Yeah, boy. There we go. Let's get a bunch of Katana Samurai in. From South Shinano eventually. Okay. Did we encounter a clan? Oh, we did too. I believe it's because we opened up that trade lane, eh? Nice. Uh, why can't we get trade with them? Cannot trade the ports. Oh, the home province are at full capacity. Uh, to be fair, do we even have a coastal settlement? I don't even know if we do. Oh, no, we got one. We literally have one coastal settlement here. Oh, nice. I didn't even comprehend that. <laughs> We've been a little bit unlucky in that respect. Hmm. Well, look, you know what? It's probably not a bad idea to actually um, invest in a navy. Because, like, why not? Uh, yeah, let's uh, start putting in the groundwork for that. While we continue to push against the Iku Iki, which hopefully we can uh, destroy here today. We'll see how we go. Yeah, a bunch of bow bowmen, but we should be okay. Right, let's continue on, fellas. Oh, here they come. They're actually going to attack me. Oh, wow. Alright. Two general units. A bunch of bow ronin. Look at that, bro. They've got, incre they got crazy improved accuracy. They actually don't have too much infantry as well. A lot of skirmishes. So, luckily, our army build is perfect to counter them. We've got a bunch of Yari cavalry, a bunch of light cavalry. Let's fucking go. It's going to be a good one. If they had a bunch of, like, Yari samurai, a bunch of spearmen, or even, like, Yari Ashigaru, it'd be a little bit more concerning. But looking at the rock, paper, scissors. Takeda Shingen actually has the better quality army build. Yeah, I'm curious to know what the army build is for the Takeda. Like, you might even have like a build where you could even forsake some archers to be fair. 
Because you want to try and prioritize cavalry where we can and try and initiate, like, land and field battles, eh? Rather than a siege is, dude, we're actually being attacked though, which is kind of funny. We've also got some Takeda Bowmen, which is kind of insane. Um, I don't even think we even, like, fuck with the generals. I think we sit them back, even though we could do some hammer and anvil strikes if we want. They are attacking me at the end of the day. It's actually not a bad idea, maybe, to conceal ourselves in the forest here slightly, to be fair. Because they do have that skirmish of supremacy over me. So it actually might be able to protect our units to some extent. But really, we need to start wrapping around big time. And particularly with the Yari Cav, we probably can just full-on fucking charge on in. Like, swing around... And then eventually we're just going to charge with them. Because the charge bonus is insane. For the Yari Cavalry. Go on, lads. There's even like a flying wedge formation. They've capitulated already. Uh, what's hitting me here? Okay, so they're light cav. Ah, uh, shit, the fucking bow cav have been caught. They need to be on skirmish mode. They're doing well here. They're moving down some spearmen, so you swing this way. Okay. The front line is holding for now. Oh, I went with swooping crane. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, we've won their well. Their bowman has capitulated. Let's move this out. We might actually be able to bring this light cavalry out. Uh, move you around here. Uh, you're getting engaged by that. That's fine. Just gotta watch out for that spear unit. Try and target them. Alright, let's uh, move you here out. Um, Alright, you need to go here. Swing you this way. Uh, Alright, try and go here. Continue to skirmish that. They haven't even really hit my front line. Oh, how the hell the fuck did they get around it? What the fuck? Come on, you just need to move around here. Go for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, they actually came back. That's so fucking annoying. Our oh, Yari's are doing so well. Alright. Just need to make sure we capitulate them enough so they definitely don't come back. Nice. They're just getting skirmished out in the way. We might be able to make a play here. Nice. Go for this general unit. They've now been crushed. We are going to win, but it's just going to be super high cav ca um, cavalry losses. Even the general there got kind of cooked a bit. Alright, we're good now. Just got to be on point because it's a a micro heavy faction. The Takeda. All right, one there. Yeah, our front line is fine. Our Not even really tested. I didn't even have time to enable stand and fight. Oh, dude, they've actually been crushed over here. The um bow cavalry didn't really skirmish that well. They actually skirmished themselves into a corner. Skirmish and mowed themselves into a corner rather soon. Alright, let's move around here before this charge gets around us. Alright, let's switch to a flammable shot. I'm surprised they actually uh, targeted the general units, to be fair. It's quite smart of them. We're still hiding in the forest here, though. So the Yaris are still holding. 
Okay, we just need to wrap around. Oh, there's not much movement there to actually get around. The terrain is kind of stuffed me there. Yeah, so wedge formation, what does it actually do? Kill less enemies? No, I don't think I want to use that. Alright, we're being chased here actually quite well. Because we need to get around this unit. Alright. Come on, wrap around. Quickly now. We've somehow got around this. Their cavalry is now hitting my front line. The Yaris can hold. Go for this. Or you guys go for this. Once we neutralize these bowmen, this should be GG's. But bro, the fucking movement of the Ikuiki Yari Ashigaru, kind of insane. What's this? Oh, the general, right. Because we had him on stand and fight. Alright, you continue to go this way. Forgot about that. Alright. Alright, let's get the bowman to hit that. Nice. We have claimed victory here today, but it will be a little bit of a cost. Phew! Yeah, I don't know if I'm overly a fan of the, um... The bow cave, because it's just another thing the to fucking micro. Because the skirmish, like, them on skirmish mode just pushed them into the fucking corner. I couldn't just leave them to their own devices, they ended up getting themselves killed. But hey, this is the, what the third and final full stack of the Yakuiki. Definitely, want a, definitely a top five clan. So it's good that we got rid of them this early on. Well, to be fair, it's not like we rushed them early on. We've actually won three battles, clutch battles against them. Okay, so we lost two units there, three units in the end. Yeah, the Yari Cavalry, bro, look at this, 400, 350, 333, crazy, they want peace, no thank you, they've only got a handful of settlements left, I'll be curious to see if the Hojo actually fucking Blitzkrieg, sort of up the coast here, I nearly hope if the Imogawa will actually be able to take some of their territory, Interesting conundrum. Did they just spawn another army there or something? That's kind of crazy, bro. Alright, we go for this. Alright. Um, I would like to move you out, but I don't think I can. I suppose we try and sabotage this army. And do we try and sabotage the castle gates? It might make us easy to get in. We failed all of them anyway. Bro, what the fuck is up with these ninjas? <laughs> they all just fucking failed. Yeah, so we should get our ninjas from here, from now on. Can I move you out? Mm, I can, but not overly too much. Alright, because we can untax you now. We'll unexempt you from the tax exemption. Rather put. Okay. More Yari Cav on the way. I would like to get some more food, I think. That's what I'm sort of lacking. Obviously, roads as well, but food would help out. Which we can't get, so maybe we just continually try to get more Katana Samurai in.
Because what we kind of want is we... Although bowmen are really, really good in this game, we nearly kind of want to pin down the enemy and then flank around with our cavalry. Uh, how's this naval inv uh, build going? Alright, it's slowly gr growing. Okay, well, I suppose we push towards the castle. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't sort of break our way on in. This army's been delayed, so I don't think it can come in as reinforcements. It's a large navy there, bro. I'd love if I could, um... Essentially take it, to be honest. Oh, fuck. Maybe I should have manually played that one. Hmm. Do we want this as a bit of a recruitment hub? Maybe, because we can get Bowman here properly. Because that's how they can get better quality Bowman. Yeah, maybe we should make our Bowman from here. Probably break some of this down though. We don't need that. Alright, I suppose we see how they react. Um, armies wise. We do want to try and bring up Additional reinforcements if we can. Like all you boys here should really go north. It'd nearly be worth... Hang on. Stop this because we want to repair this castle before it gets too bad. Okay. More Yari cavalry coming. Alright. One more piece of territory they've got. They've also got this army here as well. Jeez, we're looking pretty green around the gills here with this build. They might just end up sieging me out. You never know. Or not. Where the fuck did they go? Because we could actually just bypass it completely. Maybe just go straight for the um, settlement. Oh, one of my uh, sons came of age. Nice. Let's move him around. Oh no, it's there still. Another failure, damn it. Go for one of these monks. We seem to have a better chance at. I'm just trying to think. If, do we have the range? I was going to say, we might actually bypass this. Go for Kaga, and we might actually destroy them. Anyway, let's get a Sake then, and... Let's get a market. We might actually be able to bypass this. Still can't get any trade. Right, back over here. What's going on? Oh. Wait, what's the Yosegi doing? Oh, the fucking Yosegi at war with a Hojo. Okay. Hmm. Maybe siding with them wasn't the play. I was like, oh, what's this piece of territory here? Oh, they've taken it. Interesting. Anyway, uh, we might be able to move out. Like, if we hit this... Right, we bypass that. Nice. And then we do this, right? The gates are open. Perfect. And is that them destroyed? Yes. Perfect. Look at that. And the Ikuiki have now officially been destroyed. Nice. And Kaga is now under our control. Now, unfortunately, we've got this here. I think we break it down. Like, what does it even give us? Mm, bow monks would be the thing we'd get. But no. Alas, we won't. Nice. Really big episode-wise province 
wise and sort of territorial gains. Look at this, fellas. One, two, three, four, five pieces of territory in one pretty big swoop. And now we've got this fucking madness happening down in the south. Um, yeah, so who do we sort of... We could maybe look to make a play and take out the Ashkaga Shogunate, potentially. But that will bring us in a war with these guys. The Hatakiyama. Fucking Hojo, bro. We might go after these guys, to be fair. That could be a play. Hmm. We'll just have to see how we go. Anyway, we'll try and replenish and repair where we can. Make it a decent amount of money now per term, which is fantastic. Alright, well... I suppose... We look to go for uh, another clan, I guess. So we could go against the Imogawa. We now have a pretext to do so. I think we push down to maybe deal with the... The... Kita... Bartek... <laughs> Kita... Ba... Take, I guess. We'll just call him Kita. Um... Yeah, fuck. Because we're kind of good in the north, because we border with the Yosegi. And then, I guess if we get rid of them, we might look to go to war with the Hojo, I suppose. We'll see how we go. But, in saying that, we are halfway towards Realm Divide, so... We could make a play for the... Seat of Kyoto. Because it's a really nice choke point. I don't know. Anyway, I think we do try and get a navy. We do have a lot of funds going towards that, so... Why not add a... Couple more, I suppose. Alright. Well, let's uh, move these ninjas down into a better position. Send you to Kyoto. Um, send you here. And I guess we send them to Imogawa Territory. I think we... Sort of rally here, essentially. We, like, kind of just rally up fucking there. Get everyone going. Move everyone out if we can. Alright, we're gonna have some religious problems up here. It's interesting that they upgraded this when they really should have upgraded this settlement because it's got the fucking blacksmith. Kind of annoying that they did that. Anyway. I suppose we rally up with them. Yeah, so I guess we're kind of good here in the north. We're going to have some religious issues, but just something to keep an eye on, more or less. Whoa, what was that? Oh, <laughs> just saw this, like, black emerge there. It's because we've encountered the Chisakabe. To be fair, we might actually need to, um... Keep the public order in check up here. Uh, we'll try- Oh, hang on, we might be able to arrange a marriage with the Chisakabe, a matter of fact. Um, we can't get an alliance with... Yosegi first. Oh, we can. This is a good day. Hmm. A friendly we can marry the princess... And ...to one of the Yosegi. The problem is... Do I want to put my eggs into the Yosegi basket? Because we're still allied with the Hojo. I guess it fucking doesn't matter. Because we could probably use her... Hmm. Maybe, maybe we look to try and find... ...a suitable Welcome. wife elsewhere. For one of my other family members. Doesn't seem likely. We're mostly... Oh no, hang up. The Chosakaba we could get a princess from. As to the response you receive, That'd be nice. That depends on
Cool. Is that another child as well? The uh, Takeda family line is still quite secure. Yeah, maybe we... Hmm, I don't know. Ah, fuck it, maybe. The problem is the Yusegi could get pushed back. Oh, they're looking pretty good, though. Because then, like, you know what I mean? We would have better off backing the Hojo. Yeah, I don't... I think we... I think... We wait. Oh, we found some more clans. Hang on. We can't even trade with them anyway. Yeah, we got some pretty bad public order issues, like I was saying. Uh, you guys are still moving south, like I said. Uh, move you to Kyoto. I don't know if we're strong enough to make a play for it just yet. I don't know if we've got the... Um, the armies to really... Honestly, take Kyoto. We're still rallying up here, though. More katana swordsmen on the way. Oh, we can get the upgraded roads now, so maybe we do that. Particularly in this region. We're kind of going to need it. Alright. So the public order is really fucking bad here. So much so that we might need to leave generals, actually. Which would be annoying. Oh, it's not too bad if we exempt from tax. Hang on. Mm. Okay, that's manageable. Move you further south. Oh, we're going to have a rebellion here, actually. If we don't, we might just need to chuck in the cavalry. Hang on. Alright, that's going to stop it. Because that would have been two turns of rebellion, eh? Fuck, that was a close one. You're heading south. We want to try and get more Metsukes where we can as well. And this army is still being rallied up over here. Cool beans, we're looking good. Uh, more naval units as well coming. I'm trying to think if we should just try and take the node. Uh, I think the Chosokabe actually have it, so... Just in case we encounter pirates, maybe we just build up a large fleet. Like, we might be able to bounce someone off it. Yeah, we'll move my ninjas down there to have a look. And we might look to betray the Imogawa today. We'll see how we go. Let's continue on. So we're just sort of consolidating our position now, more or less. Alright, let's get those roads going. Being able to move throughout my lands is vital. I'd like to get more food eventually as well. Alright, still setting a rally point here, essentially. Yeah, we're going to really need to get a sake den there. Alright, let's leave some of the bowmen, I suppose. Yeah, that's going to keep the public order in check. You're still heading down this way. Ninjas, let's see what we're working with against the Imogawa. Alright, what about you guys here? Okay, a little bit of a built up province here. I'm just trying to think which is which is the best way to attack from. It's going to be annoying to intertwine down and through here. Let's be honest. But we might have to. Because uh, attacking from this point and heading down, I don't know what the movement's going to be. Anyway, we're going to rally up here. Nice. We probably can forego to get these bowmen out as well now. Everywhere else, not so much. Alright, let's uh, continue on.
Yeah, look at this. Just looking at the map here. The Osegi's taking more territory. Oh, I think the Hojo took a piece of Imogawa territory, actually. Yeah, they took that. Yeah, I just think we need to play our part. And maybe divide and conquer those clans. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, the Honma, we might be able to trade with. Uh, they're currently at war with the Yosegi, which is kind of annoying. So hang on, maybe we don't negotiate with them. Maybe we try and get a trade agreement with someone else. Yeah, like we don't need to piss them off this early. Alright, so what are we working with? Alright, pretty big army. Then the reinforcing as well. Uh, still push you south to get some line of sight on the Imogawa. Oh, they actually might hit them there. That's fascinating. Because... Hang on, I should really move... You, like, over here. Because they're at war with these guys, eh? Huh. We might be able to use this to our advantage somehow. Anyway, I was building these Psycho Dens up here, wasn't I? Because this is where the public order issues are coming from. Yeah, so let's maybe try and upgrade this then. Um, yeah, let's try and get more Katana units. Right, how are we going Navy-wise? What are we looking at? Okay, I'd like a bunch more to be fair. Let's just be honest. <laughs> Nowhere near enough. Alright, still can't exempt these regions. Uh, from tax either. Alright, what are we working with now that they're in here? Ah, oh, fuck, I would like more Yari Cav. Too much Bowman for my liking here. This has a small amount, but not as much as I would like, so... Maybe we need to stop this and get some more Yari Cav. I'd like that more. Alright, we've got a couple moving parts here. So, I guess we hope that they take this against Kita, and then we maybe try and swoop in. We might actually be able to hit them from the north here, to be fair. But yeah, I think there's an opportunity here to potentially declare war upon the, uh, the Imogawa. Like, I think we should do that. Like, they're probably getting pressurized from the south here as well. They've probably only got this full stack, to be fair. Oh, I could act... Hmm... <laughs> I was going to say, I could sabotage, but that's not really going to help. Like, maybe make it harder. Yeah, no, maybe if I sabotage that, that'll make it easier for them to take, and I want it to be harder, eh? They're going to probably struggle to take that, to be fair. He's a pretty decent general. Anyway, uh, let's uh, end the turn and continue. And we'll see what happens here. Oh, what the fuck? The Taka... Taka Oka... Who are you? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, no, we might be at war with the Ashkaga Shogunate. Dude, that threw a fucking spanner in the works. Who are these guys? Okay, so Yusegi and Hojo are going to come, but... Okay, the, Ashka the Ashkaga Shogunate isn't going to attack them. Oh, for fuck's sake. And they took it as well. We've only got one army, and they raided a bunch of my trade nodes. Uh, they actually took them out, though, to be fair. Uh, so we're going to have to delay plans to go to war with the Imogawa. Because we're about to get attacked in the north. Oh, dude, this is a ma- Oh, dude! That's a massive opportunity. To like, gobble up some of this territory. To be fair, if the Hojo take it, we'll be okay. But then it'll be the Yosegi gobbling them up. Oh, God. Man. Ancient Japan. What a massive fucking battle royale. Well, we've got to deal with this now, so... Where even are they? I think they're in a really awkward part of the map. Just looking at that already. Hang on, they don't want peace, do they? No. That's annoying as fuck. Why? Hmm. 
I don't know, man. Um, well, yeah, I guess we keep you here. Uh, we send you north. Uh, we move you here as well. We might actually lose a settlement off them if we're not careful. Let's try and sabotage Tumba. Right, well, how quickly can we get around here? Quite quickly. Well, we've actually got a ninja here that can't sabotage. Alright, well, looks like we're going to war up here then. I don't know what the territory is actually like up here. Like, what do they even have? I genuinely don't even know. Alright, finances wise, we're still a little bit chalked up here. Um, let's try and get some more... Yari Cavalry where we can, and then like Katanas. We de we definitely want to try and get Bowman from up here, eventually. Oh no, it's here, the Bowman, isn't it? Yeah, so maybe we do both. Let's get some Bowman up there. Alright, um... Maybe we just try and hold here in Mino. With an army, I don't know. Alright, let's move there. Uh, let's move our navy out. Luckily, we have a navy here. So, they're already attacking me on the coast. Alright, well, let's go up and uh, try and stop this. Our navy should be large enough to deal with them. We might even be able to block their ports. Cutting off some of their trade if we're lucky. My god, why do my FPS just... Goes so bad, holy shit. Alright, I think it's uh, stabilized now. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh well. Damn, I thought we'd be able to go to all the Imogawa. Oh wow, I think we found the entire map by the way. It's gotten to the fact that everyone can see us. Who owns Kyushu out of curiosity? Ito, potentially? Alright. Yeah, so... Chosakabe own a lot. Um, Ako. Yeah. Or oh, Ito or Ito. The Shonani hold Bungo. Wow. That's a cool looking logo for a clan. I, c I really like the purple. Purple's up there with one of my favorite colors. I like that. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Let me know in the comments. If you like green, we can't be friends. <laughs> I fucking know. Some fucking preschool shit. Alright, let's uh, move everyone to Mino, like I said. Um, yeah. I guess we just keep an eye on their military forces, I suppose. Because it's weird, because they've got a castle here, which is interesting. Yeah, well, let's just try and uh, cause some carnage, I guess. Because we're probably going to be able to sabotage the castle gate. Unfortunately, we're not. Well, we'll march on in. I kind of want to fight them in Obama. <laughs> but the order resolve actually might be better than offensively sieging it. Because we've only got a couple units here. Um... Yeah, I think we're actually better off to auto-resolve it, a matter of fact. Because it's not like it's a huge full stack and we've got time to wait. I think we just auto-resolve it, to be fair. How many do we lose? 130. That's way better. Now, to be honest, do they want peace? You fucks? No. Alright, we might be able to get some trade back. I kind of want to trade with these guys, though. Speak, These guys are awesome. So Alright, maybe just a trade agreement then. Will be satisfactory. 
Oh, they've got a quite a large navy here, to be fair. We're going to start putting in the groundwork on some of these. Oh. Okay. Well, let's uh, move this army out. Although it's kind of small, we'll be fine. I guess we exempt this region from tax. And we advance. To Tango. I don't think that's going to give us range, though. A couple units can't actually make it. The cavalry can, though. So we've got to keep an eye on Tamba. Unfortunately, Kyoto's in the way there. How far are reinforcements away? A little bit. Right, let's continue on. The Yosegi taking more Hojo territory. I think our fresh navy that we recruited is kinda cooked. <laughs> Which is rather unfortunate. More sea routes getting raided. The Battle of the Tuckers, I guess. God. Alright. Alright, maybe try and assassinate these guys. Unfortunately, failed. You were surprisingly successful here. Maybe go with another attempt here. Damn. Unfortunately, this guy's thwarted two attempts. Yeah, I still think we just try and keep a, an eye on what's sort of going in and around our province here to the south. Alright, so this is a... Oh, this is another small force. Right, still continuing on our recruitment. Alright. Got some more navies coming as well. Uh, do they still want peace? No. What the fuck, bro? It's like they knew I was about to go after the um, Imogawa. Well, once again, do we fight this one? Or, or they don't have actually that many bowmen. Yeah, it's like we're just better off auto resolving. Where is their big full stack? There must be a full stack up here. Like, there must be. Are they at war with anyone else, as a matter of fact? No, but we have opened up some trade lanes here. The Yosegi are unfortunately still with the Honma. Well, these guys are at war with a fair few others. Maybe I try and make trade with the Honma. Say what you must, but my heart tells me it might piss off the Yosegi, but they might just have to cop it on the chin. Oh, I didn't even check the buildings in here. Oh, that's not too bad. To be fair. Or maybe get some Mitsuke's from there. Well, can we just, like, aggressively push again? Hang on. Because these regions are in such close proximity. Maybe we should. It's this one here. Like, hang on. If I exempt them from tax, they're still angry. So if I leave, like, a small retainer. Right, I should stop that. Well, let's push for this, then. But why the fuck did they declare war upon me when they were so weak? Now do they want peace? <laughs> you fucks. 
We are going to get more trade agreements, though, because we're opening up more ports, which is interesting. No, I don't want trade for whatever reason. Nice. Yeah, maybe they have more territory over here. Not entirely sure. There's only three units there. We can nearly send this around. In the end. Alright. Let's get, go with another t end turn. Yeah, look at the Usegi are really putting on the pressure on the Hojo. Their Metsuke is now trying to hit me. What a strange war. Look, we probably destroyed a, uh, probably 10 units, but they, it's not like they had a full stack prepared for this. Um, we probably should move you out, a matter of fact. Look, I, w I do actually want to try and get a bunch of... Mitsukes if we can, because they're pretty good. Oh, we're already at max capacity, are we? Oh, shit. Well, let's sort by what region is generating the most wealth. And it's actually Ormi. Where there's already an agent there. Nice. And then it's Kaga. So, get you to Kaga. Uh, pronto. Oh, oh I was going to say, we can nearly not exempt them from tax. Oh, looks like the Usegi are actually here to help. Nice. Navally, that is. Do these guys want trade again? Nope, we can't come to an arrangement. Uh, oh, they might want peace. I, I kind of would like to take Tumba if we could. Bro, that's fucking strange. It, it kind of seemed like that was out of nowhere. It, maybe they have a... Um, I don't know. What's the best way to describe it? So, like in Medieval 2, right? Portugal always has like a hard-coded thing to go after... Wales. Like, it's in the game. There's, so, the Usegi has that for the Takeda, which you have to keep an eye on. But maybe these guys as well, I don't know. Have a similar sort of thing. Alright, so we wounded him. The only problem is, this could really stow some past grievances. Because um, if we take Tumba, we might be able to sue for peace. So, is that enough? Like, if I hit with this... Yeah, yeah, bro, that's fucking easy. Uh, maybe we send some cavalry. Oh, fuck, can we not get there just? We can move the daimyo in. Is that gonna do it? Yeah, nice. Holy shit. Only just snuck that through. Oh my god. Right. Do they want peace now? Might get trade with these guys, to be fair. Speak them. Actually, no, let's try and get this um, peace agreement, though. So, what do they have? They got this coastal territory. Yeah, I don't want to push this far west yet. I want to maybe try and go for Kyoto now, and then maybe the Imogawa, so we can centralize our territory a bit. I feel like going any any west over this mountain range will probably overextend us, so... Let's see what they're going to say. So, do you want peace? I do not wish to listen Bro, if I could get a fucking hostage off you, I would. For strange and sometimes unwelcome encounters. I do want... War remands, uh, repayments, though. Like 5k? No. Speak if you must. How about 3k? Speak carefully if you value your no. How about just a k then? Maybe I just ask for too much in Shogun 2. Alright, maybe a peace accord will be fine. Do you want trade? You fuckers. Alright. Let's try and get some more trade around if we can. Well, that absurd little lightning war worked out alright, I guess, for us. Um, 
Wow. Didn't really want Tango or Tumba. Or um, Tajima. But whatever. <laughs> we'll take that. Anyway, um, I've played for over an hour here today. So I think it's time to wrap up part two. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Had an absolute blast. Took out the Imogawa and we managed to take out some territory from the Takaoka. Right, so I think uh, we'll try and go back to those original plans, those offensive war plans, to go against the Ashikaga Shogunate and the Imogawa as well. Um, yeah, it looks like the Yosegi are really pincering the Hojo. So maybe if we go down here, we might be able to take Izu. I'd love to get Izu, man, but it looks like the Yosegi and their bow monks are going ham in this series. Um, 51, so we might need to make a, a marital alliance My with them eventually welcome. at some point. Still continuing on our main objective to go with domination. And we're probably about 60% towards realm uh, divide as well. Daimyo Shingen, still an absolute chad. His son, Yoshinobu. And he's got another brother, Nobu, as well. An adopted son, Hirosada. Everything's looking good. Alright, thanks guys once again. So, to wrap things up, if you want to stay connected with me, check out my social media links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Got to say a huge thank you to this month's channel members again. So, massive thank you to Itchy Green Nero one Divine Overhand, Hector A, and Dimitri H. Massive thank you to those channel members. Really help the Let's Plays and uh, the YouTube channel on going. So, if you do become a channel member, you get your name read out at the start of end of every stream slash video. You also get access to the mod list that we're running with this series. And you can also request as well in the Discord um, mod lists from previous series. And I'll get that for you if you're curious and you want to know what mods are compatible with certain versions and stuff. Anyway, thanks guys. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.